we are diving deep into Spelling Workout, the curriculum that I swear by, so come along. Hey and hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going through a review of Spelling Workout. It's actually um, a deep dive, like an intense flip through of Spelling Workout. I'm going to go through both the student workbook and the teacher's edition and hopefully you can get a really good idea of what this curriculum is all about. I have used this curriculum for years, like years and years and years. And it's the one curriculum that if I've strayed off the path to go find that other shiny thing, I always come back to this one because of three things. It works. It's super simple for me as a mom to, um, to do. It's just everything is right here in these two books and it is cheap. It is so economical. For both of these books right now, in 2022, under 20 bucks right here for these two. And then if you have uh, multiple kids, you only have to buy this again, because this one is you already have. And this one right here is only like $12. And it's a whole year worth of curriculum for your, your kids in spelling. That's why I love it so much. Let's turn off this camera, let's get the other one rolling, and we're going to deep dive into the curriculum, and I'm going to show you everything about it. So let's go over the younger levels. I, I've got C here with me. So first off, we've got the table of contents, and as you can see, this is how it's laid out. You've got five lessons, and then you have a sixth lesson that is a review. So then you have five lessons, and then a review, five lessons review. So, and it goes all the way to 36. So you've got 36 weeks of spelling, which is perfect for the younger ages. And that's the table of contents. Here, um, they teach you how to, you know, learn how to spell a word, which is very helpful. And keeping a spelling notebook. When you miss a word or you're having trouble with words, you put it in the spelling notebook. And at the back of the book, it kind of looks like this. So you write your spelling words correctly here that you've missed or that you're having trouble with so that you can come back to and say, how am I doing on those spelling words? As you can also see, you have, there is a dictionary for all the spelling words in this level. You know, a great way to learn um, dictionary skills. So the vocabulary part of it is awesome. It's a great, great thing. So let's go through and I'm gonna show you some of the aspects Let's just take this lesson. All right, so first you have this page. This is where the lesson starts. It gives you an overview. It's the long vowel sound E. So you have a small section here of reading with your spelling words that are in, in bolded. Those are your spelling words. And then down here it says, say each word in a dark print in a selection, listen for this. And what do you notice about the ways? So they kind of give you a direction of how to use this page and what to look for. And that's very helpful. So then you turn the page and here we have um, the tip, which is kind of like the spelling patterns or the spelling rules that are going to be covered in this lesson. You have the list words. And as you can see, they also have them in cursive. In the younger, levels, they only have manuscript. But in level C, they're starting the transition from manuscript to cursive. So that's why they have this. Because as you can see, in the older grades, they're only going to be cursive. All right. So, you know, some people don't like cursive, some people do. I think it's important because kids need to know how to read <laughs> cursive. That's just a fact of life. There's a lot of cursive out there that they need to learn how to read. All right, so here we have, they usually have this one section is always about um, the different sounds, uh, as you can see here. And they have all these different exercises to do that. Then up here, more exercises. They usually have some sort of puzzle. Um, it makes it kind of fun for the kids. Sometimes this is where the dictionary um, exercises are. And then on the back page, you've got the proofreading, which they learn proofreading marks, which is really wonderful, I think. And then how to correct their mistakes. They're teaching how to have a critical eye for, you know, grammar and spelling. 
And then of course down here we have the writing paragraph, which is always a writing exercise, which of course is um, wonderful and it helps them use the words in uh, real life language and situations, which again helps to solidify the spelling in their head. Here we have the bonus words and they are just in the same family as their list words. It's just an optional of extra work. You know, sometimes kids um, that are great spellers that love spelling like to do these bonus words. Okay, so that is the lesson pattern of every lesson, basically. So here is, it reviews lessons seven through 11. And here you're gonna check your spelling notebook. You're gonna um, write the ones that you've had problems with during these lessons. You're gonna write them here and you're gonna practice writing them. Also here we have exercises for just reviewing. So they'll take some of the list words and they'll do exercises for you know, reviewing it. And it's all through here. That's basically what it is. Then at the very end, you've got this part where it, it's kind of like a test, you know, and they have to go on each line and circle the one that is spelled incorrectly. So again, they're using that critical eye of finding the mistakes, which again helps their spelling. So here at the very end of the book is the writing and proofreading guide. So you, um, this is just a little bit more in depth and also how to use your dictionary. So here we have some more dictionary skills. And then of course you've got the dictionary here along with the spelling notebook. And then of course on the back is some handwriting. Okay, so that is the book. Now let's just go through the spelling teacher's edition. These are separate. And um, when you buy them, you, you, they don't come together. So this is a, a price and this is a price. And it, and it depends on where you buy it. And I'm just gonna go through and just show you a little bit of it. So if you're interested and you feel like you really need something like this, this teacher's edition, uh, I just wanna show you what it's like. So here we have the table of contents. This curriculum is actually um, used in classrooms in the public school. So they talk about that. They talk about meeting the needs of an ESL student. And then the scope and sequence. And then here's all the lessons. It's very detailed. You can kind of see they have, you know, it's just, it, it, there, it's, it's a great resource. It's, it's very detailed, that is for sure. So here's their philosophy. Here is um, what you should do with each page, which I kind of went over, but here it's very, very more detailed. All right. And then um, here's if you're using in a classroom, you know, for teachers and then ESL students. And then of course the scope and sequence. All right, then you start and this is what it looks like. So this is lesson one. This is all on the teacher side, as you can see. And then here are the pages for the students. And of course, here's all the answers that they have in the teacher's guide. So here they have um, the warm up test that you're supposed to give according to Spelling Workout. Again, I never did a warm up test, but if that is something you would like to do, then it's, it's a great idea. And they even give you, you know, the sentences of how to give them. Okay, and then they give you some ideas of spelling practice. And up here, you got spelling strategies, what to do with those bonus words, some ideas, more spelling and writing, and then they give you the final test. Okay, so that is, you know, basically what, and then it has every single lesson, all right? Now let me take you to the um, lesson six. Here is the lesson review page of the lesson that is about the review. And here, as you can see, your objectives. Here is the spelling notebook, what you do with it more. Um, they do have an extra page for you know public school students to take home, but it works for homeschool students also. And then again, here's all the pages. And then here they give a final test on this review lesson. And it is a big, long test, 30 words. Um, I'm gonna to have to tell the truth here. I usually don't do this. So, I know, 
bad, bad on me, but this is something that you could do. And like I have done, I have not included that. So that's the review part. All right, these are the extra things that you do not have in the student workbook right here. These are the review tests that you get. This helps get ready for this test right here and right here. All right, so these are extra little tests that they give you. And then here is something that you can use. These are all the words, you know, kind of all together, which is nice to have, you know. And then this is an, another extra activity that you can do. So that is what is different in the teacher's guide as opposed to the student workbook. You will not have those in this. So if, that's, if that interests you, then you probably want to get the teacher's guide. Okay, so that is basically it. Um, again, here's another one here. They sometimes do word searches. That's an extra page. They're kind of different all the way through. See this? There's another one. So just extra things that you may be interested in. Okay, um, again, kind of the same things. They have these two in the student workbook. And then, of course, they have got the dictionary back here. And then I'm going to show you, they also have all of the, they have, um, oh, they have this record chart that you can keep track of your student scores if you'd like. And then here are all of the review test answer key. Okay, for all of those, you got that in here. You do not have that in here, so you'd have to do it yourself. You also have the list words that are all in the whole level C. All of them are here, uh, alphabetical, which may be helpful. All right, here again is the spelling. Here's the bonus words also that they have written. And then here is the spelling enrichment, which, you know, gives more, more ideas and what you do with a lot of those different things. And then of course, two pages to, if you need to photocopy the spelling notebook, definitions and rules of all of those um, spelling rules in here that you have every week. They kind of go through them a little bit more. And then of course, teacher's notes. Okay, so that is the, um, the teacher's guide. I think it's a great resource for, for moms. You know, it's all right here. You don't really have to go anywhere else. Everything is right within these two books right there. You may wonder, how do I implement Spelling Workout in my homeschool? Well, good question. I have a video right here that you should be watching next. Thanks for watching. Doodles.